Hello guys, today I want to talk to you about Laravel Blade components, specifically about nested components, which is component within a component, specifically about anonymous components, which don't require their own class in Laravel, only the blade file. And also in the newest Laravel 8.62, which was released this week, there is a new functionality to make work with grouped components or nested components a bit more elegant. Let's dive in. For those of you who don't know how Blade components work, I will link in the description below the official documentation and my special video where I demonstrate that. But even if you haven't worked with Blade components, you will get the idea here. So imagine a scenario of a table in Tailwind CSS, and it's a typical scenario to have a few Tailwind classes for each component. Sometimes those classes are repeating. And how can we extract that to avoid repetition? Of course, we can do that with Tailwind itself, but there is a blade way how to group those things. So we can create a table component, adding those classes to that component and then load x-table. Similarly, we can do the same thing for the heading. And the heading has a dynamic part of the heading field name, like name or email. Everything else is identical. So this is also a candidate for a blade component, like table heading. And then the final table body. The body is static, but then for each of some records, there is a row and there is a TD cell, which is almost identical, or in fact, totally identical, except for the field. So this would be a slot, and the blade component would be something like x cell or x table dot cell. Visually, that table looks like this. It's based on Laravel daily Laravel breeze skeleton that we have. I will also link that in the description below. So default table page on top of Laravel breeze. And if we have more tables in the future in that project, it totally makes sense to extract that to the components, which would be reused in other pages, right? So at the bottom, I do have that code and let's uncomment it. So instead of that table and all of the TDs, here's the result. So we have table component. Inside it has the main slot, basically the dynamic part, and also another slot, separate slot for a heading, because here we can use a separate table heading component. And in here we have table row component and table cell component. Here's how it looks in the file tree. So there is a table blade, resources, views, components, table blade. And as I said, it's an anonymous component, which means it doesn't have any PHP class, only the blade file. So we kind of extracted all of that into the component. Then actually even that div should be extracted. So we don't need that div because it comes from the table. Okay. So this is the table and it has two slots, the main slots, the dynamic variables, and also the heading. And we can call them by, in this case, x slot name heading, which corresponds to this one. And everything else outside of the slot is the main dollar slot variable. Then table dot heading is inside of the subfolder of components table. And in fact, there are three sub components. So heading is this one and there are default attributes but we can extend that by passing more classes and then it also has a slot and the slot is a dynamic part which is this one so we have two cases of table heading two columns and then for each of the user we have table row which is again in the subfolder of table components and it's just a simple row with just one class but this is totally fine for us and then inside of that row we do table cell which looks like this pretty simple but it allows you to first shorten the code of this blade file and there is no right scrolling to the right it's all readable in pretty simple code and also it allows you to reuse that table in some another page and if you need some styling changes you make them in the blade file of the component instead of on every page so this is how you can work with, I called it nested components. So there is a main table component, and then there is a subfolder with sub components of the same kind of purpose, the table. But in newest Laravel 8.62, this thing was released by Kelly Porzio, who is not only the creator of Livewire and Alpine.js, but also contributor to Laravel itself. He suggested and Taylor accepted that we would be able to create everything in a subfolder with index blade file. So our table is actually a bit confusing because the main component is in the main folder of components and everything else, all the children are in subfolder. So we can move that table blade into that subfolder and then rename that to 
index blade refactor rename index blade so now our nested components are grouped together in the subfolder and in the index blade we can still refer to that as x table in other words x table is a shortcut to x table dot index let's refresh and see if it didn't break anything refresh the table is still here so in fact two tables one after another so this is just a small change in 8.62 laravel but makes the grouping of components a bit more easier and by the way how do you check the version of your laravel so 8 point something you can go to your terminal and launch php artisan dash dash version it shows 862 for me if for you it's 859 or 8 something you can run composer update like this to update all your packages but be careful with that because with laravel you can update something else and that is not necessarily what you want to do so before that update take a look at other packages you use or you can define like this update specific package framework laravel framework and it would try to update only one which in my case didn't update anything because i've just updated so that's it if you want to find more about the components here's the link to the laravel official documentation there are components and there are a lot of different features and syntax and rendering and parameters and everything you can read all of that and see you guys in other videos